Hello everyone, this is the Climate Change Realtor with Coldwell Banger, the most innovative real estate sales company in Boulder, Colorado, if not the entire world. Here for Principles, Episode 8. Microphone's a little close. Principles, Episode 8, picking up right where we left off. Point 2.2. Identify and don't tolerate problems. Identify. And do not tolerate problems. If you got a problem, you fix it. Don't tolerate it. Keep it going. Everyone has problems. I have problems. I hate it when people are like, you have a problem. Like, I smoke a hell of a lot of pot, and I had been doing it since I was like 16, and my parents are like, you have a problem. And it's like, here I am. Sure, I don't smoke nearly as much pot as I did when I was 16, but... um. I'm still smoking the ganja and my life's going pretty well. So all that BS that's been fed to our, uh, our parents about the whole like drug war thing is like ingrained in their mind. And yeah, a lot of people do have issues with weed. I won't deny that substance abuse is a huge problem in the U S but, um, identify and don't tolerate problems. It's a problem. If you say it's a problem, um, that's an interesting way to start the video point a view painful problems as potential improvements that are screaming at you view painful problems as potential improvements that are screaming at you. So yeah, so if you have some kind of issue or weakness, it, it if you fix it you'll improve. You'll you'll become you'll become better and that that's great. So yeah, when you see a problem and you the key again, key, you personally identify it as a problem, you believe it's a problem. Ooh, someone emailed me on my uh, cl- climate change realty email. Um that should be fun or it could be someone being like uh we hate what you're doing, like don't don't give me flyers. But um yeah, or someone for the podcast. Sorry, I'm I'm distracted here. Um, yeah, if you, you problems are a way for you to improve yourself. If the problem is I haven't made enough money, I need to make more. If the problem is I'm not doing this, that, whatever, let's move on to point B. Don't avoid confronting problems because they are rooted in harsh realities that are unpleasant to look at. Get over it. Oh God, I love this book. Don't avoid confronting at least confront at least even if you can't conquer something that you don't like about yourself you could at least make some incremental improvements but you have to confront it at some point running away from your problems and hiding from things is is not going to bring any sort of benefit to your life so i agree all around the board so far like don't avoid confronting your problems yeah like he said um it might the reality might suck but he's like get over it you want to be successful you have to you have to struggle and accomplish difficult feats and you'll look back and be like that was awesome like running the 400 i talked about last week like heck yeah that, like that sucked but like I, it made me like an animal like I, I conquered like horrible things so yeah cool all right be specific in identifying your problems again so i personally think that it's not a problem unless you think it's a problem and you should be very um try to be objective you know it's really hard to do that we've talked about this several times being objective with yourself is so tough but you have to at least try to do that and then be specific in identifying your problems he wants you to be specific so it'll probably be it'll be to your advantage if you're very focused on something because it's hard to like I'm going to go vegan and I'm going to start exercising. I'm doing, you know, like it's hard to like do all those things at once, like baby steps and building habits over 30 days is very helpful. Like I, I didn't like, I tried to just jump in and like work seven days a week. Like it can't be done. Like you need to, you need to, uh, if you have a problem, like take it one step at a time and really work on one thing. And then you can, it'll, you'll see, it'll become part of your lifestyle and you can move on to other things. And I'm sure like your problems are interconnected. So if you fix one big one or you really put some effort into it, it'll have some, some great results, I think. So that's, that's good advice as well. Don't mistake a cause of a problem with the real problem. Anyone else confused by that one? Don't mistake a cause of a problem. So, um, I'm addicted to cigarettes. The cause is because Rudy gave me cigarettes. I don't think Rudy will ever watch this video, but, um, Mr. That's the cause, but with the actual problem is now the addiction. That's I'm trying to rationalize what this means, but, um, so don't mistake the cause. So you're like, I can't blame Rudy because I'm smoke cigarettes now. You know, I, I took it from him and that's the problem now is I'm addicted to something that's bad. It, just because my friend gave me the cigarettes doesn't like, I shouldn't be like thinking about like, Oh, it's my friend's fault. I can't deal with that. I'll just fight my friend. It's like, no, like now you made your decision and now you have a problem. So you need to fix it. 
seems like as we're getting when we get into like the nitty gritty of the topics i like tend to agree with it but then it's like the overarching uh premise that i might not always agree with and you know that's that's the point is he has these little un under points to like really convince you that the top premise is true so that's cool um distinguish big problems from small ones yeah i think we talked about this already i mean not really i mean you're just like if, if it's a big problem, it's probably something you want to tackle first. It's going to take a lot more time. Um, I highly suggest you do so if you're addicted to, to nicotine, which if you're watching this, I mean, I could, I don't know who's going to be watching this. I say this on all my videos, but like, if you're my friends watching this, you probably are addicted to nicotine. I'm like one of the only people it's like me and Kevin, uh, Kevin might even vape sometimes. I don't know. Are like the only people I know who, who, who aren't addicted to nicotine in some way. I would highly uh, advise you, you work on that. Cause if you can conquer that, or you can conquer your alcoholism. Like imagine what you can do. Like if you get through like alcoholism or a tobacco addiction, you'll get, you'll get this buzz and this vibe and this energy that will push you through to accomplish anything. So that's a great place to step to start. Um, so I said, distinguish big problems from small ones. Anything that's like hurting you and how you feel about yourself, I would say is a very big problem that you want to handle like right away. Um, I would highly advise, uh, that. So I'll keep moving. Um, once you identify a problem, don't tolerate it. Yeah. Great. If you know you have a problem, there's something wrong. I'm trying to think of any problems I have. Like I've, I've been doing this self-improvement stuff for a long time now. I went to Colorado. I was all up in myself and stuff, like telling people they're wrong. And then I, when I came back home to New Jersey and got the reality flash, and I'll, I'll tell you guys about the time. I think Cam was there. Dan was there. Dan's friend. We got in this argument about how like eating pot like can't get you high. And I was like a hundred percent using my philosophy skills. I'm right. They're wrong. And I had and I like I would have fun. I would love it when like seven people would be arguing one side and I'd be arguing another and trying to convince everyone. But this this led me into this deep dive of self reflection because I got so angry and so amped that like I just killed the vibe and everyone left. And I'll never forget that moment in my life. So once you identify a problem that you have, I. I didn't like that I could be someone that could destroy. I mean, it's cool to have the power to like command the room, but I would never want to use that power to ruin the room for everyone. So that's a problem. I could still do that. Ironically enough, my personality is just so intense that I could potentially scream and do something crazy and ruin the vibe for everyone. But it was a problem that I could go from casual, enjoyable conversation to that. So I started tackling that and looking into to all these things. I've been told by my mom, you have a problem, you have a problem, you have a problem. What's wrong with you? Why do you smoke weed every day? I'm like, dad, my dad too. Like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Okay, there's, there's nothing wrong with me for that, but there were other things underlying related to, not even related to, no, probably related to, to cannabis use. But when you identify something, don't tolerate it. Don't just be like, eh, I suck. That's fine. I'm going to, I'm going to keep on sucking. It's like, no, like, no, like you need to look in yourself and start growing. And the place that going to like very dark places in my life and then crawling up from the abyss has created this amazing, vibrant life that I enjoy so much. I think that's very important. Uh, we don't quite have time to do the, this next one, but let's, um, let's, let's start 2.3 and then we'll talk about a, B and C for 2.3 next time. So, uh, diagnose problems to get at their root causes. Yeah. So this is about solving these problems. So you want to diagnose a problem to get at root cause. So let's, let's continue with that. Like why, why am I, why was I so egotistical that I liked having like seven people disagree with me and then fighting with them? Like, what is it about me? And it's, it's my family life every day. I was told for one year, if not four, um, What's wrong with you, Ethan? What's wrong with you, Ethan? What's wrong with you, Ethan? And you can tell this is this is really built me up to who I am today. I'm very strong. I'm very confident. I love what I do and I love myself because I've been challenged my entire life, especially in my development phases, to be, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I was fine. But now I'm, now I'm great and I want to be better and I want to be amazing and I want to be fantastic. And I was fine. I was good. I was happy. And you know, thank you. If you're watching this and you're my friend and you were my friend in high school, you are what allowed me to be here what I am today. We had so much fun. And I don't want to sound like it. everyone loved me and I loved them and we had fun and we did great things and we had adventures together. And we, had, we created these amazing parties and experiences and life stories that I'll never forget. Thank you guys so much. Like I was being tortured at home. You we were failing calculus. I guess you're going to get kicked out of CU. Oh, we, imagine every single day. 
oh, Ethan, you're doing bad in calculus. Uh, I guess you don't want to go to CU anymore. And the, uh, not, n- I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying, it. Ethan, you're doing so bad in calculus. I guess you don't want to go to CU anymore. I was being hounded um, on my issues for my, for I don't know about my entire childhood, but definitely my teen years. My mom hounded me on what she didn't like about me. So I, I do have this in me to to look at my problems. So you wanna, but again, I. Credit to mom because I'm very happy, healthy, and successful now because I um, diagnose my problems and think about what the root cause is. And at the end of the day, the root cause is you, is you. You're figuring out what you are and who you want to be and crafting yourself. And most people aren't introspective like me. And I can thank my parents, I guess, for, for hounding me and being so annoying about things. But now it's carried me through to be very happy, healthy, and successful. So I appreciate you all watching. Uh, these are getting very personalized, I guess, but uh, I like making the content. I'll watch it myself, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Um, stay happy, stay positive, stay frosty, 2012. Love you all again. Uh, Australia friends, love you. Um, Colorado friends, love you. High school friends, love you. Parents, love you. I love everyone. I love life. Have a nice day.